so I just started packing for Vegas and I am a mess. This is all I've packed so far. I mean, it looks like a lot, but it's really not a lot because it's not a lot of outfits. They still have to go through all my laundry I just washed. Are you ready for Vegas? No. Okay. For my luggage. Ah, oh. For my luggage. Ah, oh. What oh. God? What? I was concentrating. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready? Yes. We have to go to work right now and we slept no hours. No hours. Probably like four or three. Because we're procrastinators and we didn't pack when we were supposed to. <laughs> and we also did self tanner and I'm a little orange. You're not orange. She's just not used to the life. Oh. She's just not used <laughs> to the self tan life. Oh my god, you're fucking vlogging me in my nightgown. Damn it, I promise I'm not like this. I just did it for the self tan. <laughs> Olivia's stressed out. <laughs> you had a drink, camera lens. No, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are we doing the same thing? Oh, so. I dropped my cashews. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Is this the salt? Oh no. No. There's nuts on the floor. <laughs> oh no! You're spilling them more. <laughs> I am a mess. Uh oh. I um got stopped by security, like always. Um but I look white. red. We look so red. What are you? It's the it's the white bound auto white what what? Tetra Bonnie area, this is Southwest Flight. I got stopped by security again. Always. And um, it always happens to me, and they're always so mean to me. And um, so I realized before I even went through security that I had my taser and my pepper spray in my backpack because I just keep it in my school backpack and that's the backpack I brought. So I had to throw that away. I had to surrender it. It was lovely. So there's like $30 down the drain. Um, and then when I went through security, they took my backpack and searched it because I had this much of water in my hydro flask. And the guy said, I'm gonna do this for you this one time, but I'm never Cause he's gonna remember her the next time she comes through. Next time we're gonna escort you out of the building and have you dump it out. Outside. Calm down. I was like, okay, well I didn't know that it was in there, so sorry. Like, I was just like, don't know what to do. So, I'd like to also add that I paid six dollars for that. I paid eight dollars for Cheez-Its and Skittles. One more time a little bit more emphasis. What do you mean? Beautiful. Oh, I'm about to drop it. I'm gonna say awesome, but I wasn't awful. Awful. My bed is beautiful. My
Oh my god, you're kidding. Yeah. You're kidding. Why. You're kidding. <gasps> you're kidding. <laughs> no. Is this a joke? No, it gets better. Shut up. What do you mean? Where are we? Turn on the light. Yeah, what's happening? Hold on. <gasps> Wait! <laughs> Is that a projector for a move? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my god, and there's um, two showers? Two showers. What? Oh my god, this is a bathroom? Oh, sorry, not two showers. Oh, that's a bathroom. Oh yeah, my where god. are we, Kate? Oh my god. So are we all gonna squeeze onto the bed, or are we gonna... What are we doing? It's actually like, I'm for sure a little bit. Yeah, it's your place, it's your birthday. But I do not care. This is insane. Wow. I just want to see if y'all fit. I'm sure that we do them. We're going to the mall that's connected. I'm gonna say collected. Connected to our hotel. Go we're gonna so get food. It's my ears. Mm. I know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. I like it. Oh. So we went down to the ABC store and we got all of our groceries and stuff and our dinner for tonight. Um, you see what I got? I got some sushi and more sushi and uh, spam misubi and she got a little. Croissant. 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 I was gonna say cheese croissant, and then like I struggled. Well, I mean, there is cheese in it. Yeah. Croissant. 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 And she got some sushi as well. And now we're just watching live PD. Hee <laughs> hee. And we're gonna go see strippers tonight. Woo! In a limo. In a limo. Well, strippers are not in the limo. No. Strippos. Strippos. <laughs> Alright, so we're all ready now, and we're on, um, I mean not on our way, we are waiting to um, get into a limo and go to a strip club. Should be really fun, I'm excited. Hi. Hi vlog. We're trying to gamble, but we don't know what the I just exchanged we're doing. my money into fives. Um, I'm fucking broke, so this is probably not smart. Um, but yeah, we left the strip club and now we're at the Venetian. Um, we're gonna gamble a little bit. And yeah. We'll see you on the flip side, Mother Trucker. Bye. We're back at the hotel. Oh my god. Wow. I got a hot mess red. <laughs> Museum. I mean, it was called the Neon Museum. Neon Museum, Timber
to, um, we went to the New York. As I was saying before, Olivia um, punched my phone out of my hand. We went to the Neon Museum and then we went to the Mob Museum and we were there for like three hours. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, and then we went and got panda <laughs> Oh my god, I'm a booger! What the fuck is my hair? Okay, anyway. We got Panda Express. <laughs> and then we came back and put on our bathing suits and we got in the jacuzzi tub, baby! Anyways, um, we're gonna get ready and then go walk the strip, so we'll talk to you later. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Wow, I look really great right now. My hair looks nice. Kate said I look like a grandma. Um, so last night we went to a club called Omnia um, and I came home because I was tired and grumpy. Um, and then the girls went to another club called Jewel and then they came home and yeah, so today we're gonna go to the Gordon Ramsay's house kitchen and then we're gonna go to Zach Baggins Haunted Museum, which I'm really excited for. Um, and then where else are we going today? Hell's Kitchen, uh -huh. um, Fremont Street, Fremont Street, and then Excess to see the Chain Smokers. Oh, yeah, we're going to Excess to see the Chain Smokers, and yeah, I pooped already, but I slept a long time, so it's good. I finally caught up on some sleep. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Sorry for the terrible quality. I am back in bed. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Zach Baggins. Um, Baggins. I'm sorry, I keep saying it wrong. Zach Baggins, I think is how you say it. I wanted to talk a little bit about that because I didn't really vlog about it because there's no camera use allowed in the museum. So I wasn't able to take out my phone at all. And then while I was there, I just, we went straight from Zach Baggins and then we got ready and then we went straight to the chain smokers. So um, basically, the museum was really, really awesome. <laughs> it was fucking scary, guys. It was fucking ridiculous. Like, there was some crazy shit in that house. Like, you'll have to just research the story behind it, or maybe one day I'll make a video about it, but it was just, it was crazy. It's so creepy. He has so many crazy artifacts. Um, and then only one thing happened to me and I'll just explain that really quick so we can go back to the vlog So while we were in one of the last rooms, there is a serial killer uh, The Kansas City butcher. Uh, I forgot what his name is Robert something and we were in his room and Zach has a bunch of like his artifacts his logs that he would like log like what he did to the person because he would like torture and kill people um, kind of crazy it was a very interesting room. I'm very into like true crime, stuff like that. So I was really into it. Um, at this point, you know, I had been scared, but I was trying to be like the one friend that wasn't as scared because I know that like spirits and demons and things like that feed off of people who are scared. So I just went into it thinking like, I'm not going to be scared. This is going to be okay. I've got it on my side, whatever. So I was doing okay. I mean, like obviously like there were times where I was pretty damn scared. But after I came out of this room, uh, the tour guide would always ask that the last person in the room shut the door behind them. So I happened to be the last person out of the room because I was the first person in the room. Now, when I was leaving the room, um, I went to go close the door like normal. It was the first door that I had closed because I was that was the first time I had been the last person in the room. Um, so I went to go close the door and I just, it's hard to explain into words, but I literally tried to close the door like just like normal and it felt like I hit something, like the door stopped, like just stopped in its place. And I was like, oh shit. And I started giggling and I turned around thinking it was a person. And I was like, oh, and there was no one there. And so I was like, what the fuck? So I went to try to go close the door again and it wouldn't close. It kept closing on something. Like something was there either grabbing the door or standing in front of the door. I don't know what it was. It really freaked me out. 
Um, and not only that, but my friend Kate saw it happen. Um, and so it freaked her out. So then she, like, had a panic attack. She was, like, just so scared at that point. And she saw it all happen. And I just, like, didn't even know what to do. I was like, why isn't this door closing? Like, what is happening? And so then when we started walking down the stairs, which is, like, right right outside of that room you you go straight from the room to down the stairs when i started walking down the stairs i heard the door creak open again because like all the doors in that house of course are really creaky because it's creepy (laughs) um so it creaked open again and i was like what the fuck is going on so anyway yeah that was like the only instance that um happened to me olivia said that she saw like a white like apparition go by really fast like run by in a mirror because there's a bunch of mirrors there too um but that's the only thing that really like happened to me and happened to olivia but yeah i'll have to make like another video about the whole museum itself because it's just like crazy there's just too much to say it was just so cool i would definitely recommend it but i don't recommend it to people who get scared easily or have or who have panic attacks easily um it definitely did worse than my anxiety but yeah i thought it was interesting i liked it back to the vlog oh is it mac i did i stepped on it (laughs) oh my god no thank you for finding its whirl We just saw the chain smokers. Oh. It was very, very fun. We saw it at Excess. Huh? I told you I'm so bad. Ew, that's what makes this smell. Oh, Ew. No. We saw the chain smokers at Excess and it was so fun. <gasps> which is at on- Encore. Uh, Kate is tripping. Stripping or tripping? Tripping. <laughs> we have to pack now, so I gotta go. So we officially packed and now we're ready to go to the airport. It's like 4.20 a.m. and I'm so tired. I had a lot of fun tonight. Hi guys, back again. I totally forgot to end the vlog again. I always do this to myself. I'm back in bed like a week later, not even a week later. When did I leave? I came back Sunday. Today's Wednesday, three days later. What am I saying? Here I am three days later and yeah. I had a great time. The trip was amazing. Vegas is amazing. I didn't know I was gonna like it so much because I've heard that like Vegas is fun, but Vegas is dirty. And the time we went, like like the season we went, it was fine. There was nothing dirty. I didn't see anyone puke on the sidewalk. I didn't see anything crazy happen. I didn't see the people in the costumes that I heard so much about. Um, Didn't see any of those people on the strip, but it was very, very fun. I would definitely recommend going in November because it was perfect weather, perfect time, wasn't too crowded, had enough people in the clubs, it was fun, you know. So I do recommend going to XS. That was very fun. It was an indoor-outdoor venue. The indoor part is more like VIP. You kind of have to get tickets and stuff for that, I think, Um, or be someone important. I don't know. Uh, We just got on the guest list for a lot of places. So if you're a girl or if you're going with a group of girls, I would recommend getting a promoter and going on the guest lists. It's how you get into these places easily. You basically skip the line. But they do have a problem with guys for some reason. So if there's like a guy in your group, you have to be there by like 11 or something stupid like that. Um, So I wouldn't recommend it if you're like with a guy friend. But if you're a group of girls, then I recommend it. But yeah. Anyways, guys, um, that's it for today's vlog. I'm happy to be back, happy to be making videos again. Um, Hopefully, I can get my Europe vlog edited soon. I'm just finishing up school right now, and it's my senior year, so I'm really stressed out. So I'll be trying to work on that. Um, But anyways, um, I will see you guys later. Bye.